Hugo Costa. I'm Portuguese. I do teach at the uh, architectural school in Valencia right now. Um, so I'm really excited to be here and so excited of having this badge. Uh, really, really excited. I'm following Urban Sketches for so much time and it's really a pleasure to be here. When I was preparing my proposal uh, to this workshop, I realized um, making my calculations, I would have more or less 2,000 sketches at this day because I'm doing, I'm sketching uh, every day since uh, 2010. So back then I had like uh, 1,800 sketches, so I did my calculation and I said, oh, I will have more or less 2,000 sketches. So I, I will prepare a presentation called 2,000 Sketches, okay? Uh, I thought on presenting the 2,000 sketches today, but uh, within the half an hour, I would have less than one second to present all the sketches, so I changed a little bit. Uh, so I will do a little presentation of myself. Um, I will show some the first sketches of the blog so you can understand the evolution of it and uh, a selection of drawings and uh, if I'm running out of time what I will do is like I will just pass to the end, directly to the end because I don't want you to suffer and, and to see my sketches more than uh, more than three, three quarters of uh, 45 minutes maybe, okay, it's okay Mario, 45 minutes it can be, thank you, okay uh, and then the, the outcomes of the of these mm, 2,000 sketches. What what are the outcomes? What did I gain with that? Okay. So I'm from Porto, this really beautiful city um, that is really nice to catch. To sketch, I advise all sketchers to go there. The light is beautiful when it's not raining. No. <laughs> uh, the slopes and the colors is really amazing uh, to sketch. And I, I lived. Uh, more precisely next to the sea. So, oh yeah, uh, I'm sorry for, you will have maybe a head a hake on your neck before this conference, but that's what you get. So more precisely, I, I'm, I, 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 when I was a child, I lived next to the sea, next to some amazing buildings done by a Portuguese architect, like this swimming pool and the Casa de Chá, the tea house of Bonova that I drew so many times, so many times in many different ways. So maybe because of him, because of Alvaro Siza and on my childhood, uh, going uh, so many times to the, those places, maybe because of him I'm an architect. Uh, I lived in France, in Paris, in 1997. Uh, then I lived in Rome also um, for four months. I lived in New York where I was teaching. I lived in Salerno. Um, and uh, now I love Salerno, the sketch is really nice, all these details. And now I'm living in Valencia in Spain. Everybody asks me, what is Valencia? What is Valencia? Uh, so there is Valencia. Um, I'm not saying all this to, 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 to say that I'm cool. No, just uh, that I have um, a big problem like Bill Murray in, Lost in translation, I don't know if you see the movie. I always had this, on my last maybe 20 years, this problem of communication, you know. I know that you won't understand 30% that I will say. You know, I know, <laughs> I know. And that's, that is more or less my life uh, on these last 20 years. And that I can't even, not even speak Portuguese anymore. When people ask me how many uh, languages you speak, none. <laughs> okay, so um, I have this problem of communication. So in order to resolve uh, this, this, um, this problem, I got three references. The cultural reference, uh, Fernando Pessoa, the, the famous Portuguese, I'm not so uh, high illustrated because it's really known, it's most uh, famous in Portugal. Uh, Alvaro Siza, the architect, and uh, the, the big pen. You know, that's, we all used Big Pen because Alvaro Siza used the Big Pen. So, but we can understand this Big Pen as a way, Big Pen as a way of communication, as drawing, is drawing, okay? On the right is drawing. Uh, because as you, as you all know, drawing is a universal language. So you will see my sketches and you will, I think you will understand them, I hope. Um, when I say 
drawing as a way of communication uh, is not only traditional drawing. Uh, I use watercolors that are really cool, but I also use another way of uh, another uh, more high-tech tools like the, the laser scanner in my work that uh, I can render really nice images with it. Okay, uh, and this is my blog. This is the main subject of, um, of, this, uh, of this lecture. So this is the post I posted yesterday. So it's the post number 2005. I overpassed a little bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then in Chicago, although these last two days I only did one sketch because I was so stressed with uh, this. Uh, this. Uh, and this, is, this was my first uh, sketch on the blog. It's number two because on WordPress, the number one is welcome to WordPress. So uh, back then I, I had my injury on my knee. So I was, was always on the doctor doing rehabilitation. So the first sketches are not really interesting at all. So it's like uh, people uh, on the doctor and, my, and these machines that, uh, uh, that we use to rehabilitation and people on rehabilitation. Um, the, the blog started in 2010. One day, um, after grading my students, I was really mad with them. Um, I told them, okay, the only way you can learn how to draw is to sketch every day. Like, if you try to, to sketch every day, at least you will sketch once a week. So, so please try to sketch every day. And the reaction was so, I don't know how to explain it in English, you see. Uh, maybe in Portuguese I would know, or no, I don't know. But the reaction, the reaction was so weird that um, I had also a, an instinctive reaction saying, uh, okay, don't worry, from now on I will, I will do a sketch a day and I will post it in a blog so you can see that it's possible to make a sketch a day. That sentence, believe me, changed my life. If I, if I would know back then, I don't know what I would have done, but that sentence really changed my life. So um, it, was, it, it, it started as a blog to help the students. So what I did is, uh, a part of doing my rehabilitation drawings, what I did is I sketched all the drawings I asked my students. And I would uh, also write comments and uh, in order they, they, would understand, they could understand the process or the concepts uh, I was teaching them. So this is a, a house we, we were working on, overall to house. Um, I, would, I expected like uh, if, if in a normal way of communication like in the classroom they, would, they didn't understand me, I thought maybe through a blog they will understand me. The feedback was not as good as I thought, uh, but uh, the, the, the feedback on the rest of the world was much better than the feedback of my students. <laughs> so this is the, the map of all the, the countries that visit me, and uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, there are very few countries that didn't visit my blog. And my, those countries are, are Islamic countries mainly. Um, so uh, I, I will show you two subjects, three subjects that, are, that where you can see the um, difference between the first drawings and the, and, the, and the last drawings. So this is one drawing that I do very often, this, the salad that I eat at the UPV, my nut salad. So this is a sketch of 2010, a sketch of 2012, a sketch of uh, 2014, you can realize uh, they, they, they used to be uh, the, big, the big drawings, no, uh, main li line drawings at the beginning, and now I'm, I'm starting to, 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 to give some more values, to, to taste uh, some more uh, elements, so um, having another range of, um, of drawing elements and values, and, and for, me, drawing, uh, for me, my sketchbooks is like a way of experimenting and testing and testing and, and, and testing. So these are from 2017, like a couple of months ago. Valencia is really nice to test these uh, dark and, and light shadows because it's so sunny. I was struggling to do the same with John Caterino uh, this afternoon here. It's, it's, it's much harder. Okay, Florence, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Florence like 
at least once a year. So let's do what I did in Florence these last uh, seven years. So these were the first sketches I did in Florence. I was, I remember I was three days in Florence and I did 60, 60 sketches. So 20 sketches a day, yeah, I was really fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but to our sketches like this, you know, like these really fast sketches while, while I was roaming on the streets. So really uh, dynamic uh, sketches. Um, this is two years later. Uh, sometimes I would spend, this is from two, uh, 2013. Uh, sometimes I would spend a little bit more than, than five, 10 minutes, but usually uh, I was really, really fast. I even sketched in my Vespa. Okay, Valencia is known for having a lot of traffic lights, a lot of traffic lights. So uh, I was on the traffic line and I was sketching. And there was this guy on the car next to me that he was looking, what are you doing? Uh, I must admit I, I, I put the color after when I arrived home. I don't know if Gabi Campanario lets me, let me do that. Okay, this I was uh, two days in Istanbul and I did uh, 30 sketches. Um, but now I regret not having used color. You know, Istanbul is so much about color. You know, but we are architects. We are not, we, we are not teach to use color. And I, I, I've never been teach to, to use color. So I did mainly this line, line drawings. Uh, with some, some kind of uh, light values without a lot of confidence. Uh, where I think I was a bit afraid of, of it. And this, when I was living in Rome, something changed because I thought mm, being in Rome and not use color, it's kind of, um, I, I can't not, uh, it's not, uh, I, I have to use color. So I start, uh, the urban sketcher there are really good in color. They have really good illustrators. Uh, so, seeing seeing what they did, I start coping them. I start checking on urban sketchers, other urban sketchers that I loved, uh, like um, like Lapin, for instance, uh, that uh, use really well the color. So I start checking out how, how, how could it, there is a sketcher in Rome that is called Federico Gemma. He's really good on color, so I learned a lot with uh, with him. Okay. And this is my first car. Don't go away, please, because <laughs> I think I have some that are better. I rented this car in Masafra, and that was my first car sketch on my blog. Uh, then I did the same car uh, five, uh, four years after. Okay, this is the classic one. It's more beautiful. That's easier to, to, to draw. Uh, uh, in, in Salerno. And now I really love to, to draw cars and motorbikes, mainly classic ones. Uh, so you have a lot of, uh, you can find a lot of, of uh, uh, drawings, car drawings on my, on, my, on my blog. Then I start seeing that uh, my, also uh, watching Lapan cars, that uh, more than the line, uh, sometimes the reflections and the colors are much more important when, when we draw a car. Is, is that right? I don't put myself on the uh, on the car. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so and then I have the privilege to draw with him in Clermont-Ferrand uh, last year. So, but he was much more prepared than, than me because he had his fancy um, fancy uh, lights on his uh, yeah, like a Google with uh, with fancy lights. Uh, that's why I put those yellow spots on the on his under his, his head, and the reflection of the the yellow on the car. Uh, I will know. I, I will have to buy that on to the next year, not this year, no. Okay. So I choose a lot of uh, red cars because they match with the shirts of the Chicago urban sketchers. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, and this was this was funny. It was uh, while I'm sketching, I forget to eat. It was I, I was starving, but uh, uh, the, the the owner of the car was really worried about that. You have to eat. You have to eat. You have to eat. So finally, he brought me a, a paella, 
So uh, you have to eat while <laughs> you are sketching my car at least. <laughs> you have to eat something. So that's what you get when you sketch uh, on the street. At least uh, people ask me a lot of times, what, why do you do it? At least we get some food. Um, here, uh, this is a special. Um, oh, I forgot my paper, my material down the, uh, uh, there. Uh, this is a special paper that I use only for cars. So I have the sketchbook only for cars where I have to use a lot of layers for it's uh, yesterday I was with Sherry Blokov that uses one or two layers so I here I think I use maybe 10 layers in some part in some part okay I also sketch cars that are not red um, so um, I'm going to show you some places uh, where I've been sketching and the, the main difference between the the last sketches and the first sketches is they are not so architectural sketches. Uh, I used to go with my blog, and uh, if I would go to New York, I would sketch the Guggenheim, the, um, the, the, the tower or whatever, and, and that, that was it. Now, I, 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 I don't know if Brunelleschi's church, without the atmosphere that is around the, the, the church, is, is, is the same church. So now I, I tend to draw more all the, the um, the, the, the atmosphere of the, the whole scene, the composition, then, then just um, um, just the elements, separated elements. Isolados, como é que se diz? Isolated elements. Okay, so uh, I really need to, uh, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm researching on an architect, on the, the architects of, uh, on the, the drawing of an architect that is called weekend. So I really need to, the, to do this drawing in Florence. But it was raining so hard, so hard, so hard. So I was waiting that the rain would stop, but the rain didn't stop. So finally what I did is was drawing under the rain. So there was a colleague that crossed me and took me this picture. And it's not, sometimes it's hard to be an urban sketcher. Yeah. And uh, here in Florence, um, one of the things, this is a paper that I recommend. It's a, a, a Spanish one that is called Papel Caballo. That is really for everything. It's really nice. It's really good to sketch. It's nice watercolor. So I use it a lot, like the, this big uh, sheet. And um, there was a girl that was telling me, why, it, it's really nice, but why don't you finish the sketch? You know, on the left, you have to finish. There, you know, why don't you put it there? And um, I didn't tell her, but I, I like to, I always like to leave something uh, like a suggestion, not to show everything. Um, I think it's much more beautiful to, to leave people to, to guess what is on the, on, the, on the paper. So this is the drawing 1000. This was the drawing 1000. When I arrived there, I think I was, uh, one week without posting anything, not without sketching, but uh, it, because the problem with the, with the blog is not the sketch and drawing every day. The problem is scanning the drawings, uploading the drawings, writing about the drawings, uh, uh, answering the comments. Uh, and so it's so hard. I, I remember I was like two weeks without posting nothing. Um, one other thing, big thing on my, all these years was going to Instagram. That also changed a little bit the stuff. No, it changed a lot. Because what I do now, uh, people ask me, why is Yola Hugo? I don't know. Why, uh, yes, I know. It's just because there is a band called Yola Tango in New Jersey that I like too much. It's, that's it. But um, I, if I would know that a lot of people think that I'm, I'm called Yolanda, I, th I thought, oh, you are Yola Hugo. I thought you were a girl. I thought you, you were Yolanda. No, I'm Yola Hugo. Okay. It's so much more powerful than the blog. Uh, I can have 20 likes on the blog. I have a, maybe I can have 300 likes in one drawing of the blog, maybe. But uh, while I have 20 on the blog, I have 2,000 or 3,000 on, on Instagram. It's so more direct, so more powerful. Um, and mainly, it's much more easier to post. So what I do now, I have my, my smartphone, I just take the picture. That's why you are always like this. Uh, I, I try to put all to the, to the same sides, to the same side, so you don't do like this. Um, but it's, it, and it's much more faster, no? With, I just take the picture, I don't have to, 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 to scan it. 
and I have this nice comments so nice tags you know like this guy that make me a picture and tag me and and so and wrote how amazing is this dude just standing there drawing memories it's beautiful <laughs> or the other day when i was drawing in in los angeles um these are the the sketchbooks that i use i like the, this or, or horizontal format i have the medium one i had them there i would like to show but uh, they are there um, and I really, really like the little one, the Moleskin or Canson one, that I can fit on my pocket and use it everywhere, this one, okay? So, um, it, I, I found it out, it was like a big discover. If you use a really thin pen in these sketchbooks, you can put more or less the same thing as in a big sheet of paper. And it, they are so discreet and so nice to, to, to carry. You can even, even put watercolor or marker on them in order to get, to get values. So I call them the wedding sketchbook because I always carry them to the, to the weddings because I can put it on my wedding jacket and discreetly this, this mess took three hours and something. So can you imagine how nice was finding my wedding sketchbook on my pocket? <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, with a little thin pen, you can, you can, you can build a, a really nice scene like this one. Um, I like this also, these uh, horizontal blogs. I use, this one is the Della Rone that I buy in, in, in Italy. It's, a, it's an, a nice sketchbook. This is a Lamborghini. Uh, that I, it was a race, I was, I try, I, I'll try to be fast, uh, but uh, I was sketching it before the race, I just chose this car because it was yellow or gold, I don't know, and I was sketching it, and then there, there is this guy that comes and gives me 50 euros, and why are you giving me, no, because uh, you are sketching the car, so take 50 euros, please. And it's kind of offensive, no, like 50 euros. And I said, no, no, it's too much money. I cannot accept. And it told me, no, because if you, don't, you, you are drawing the car, you are giving luck to the car. You know, so if you don't accept it, the luck won't work. So with this argument, I could not uh, say no. So I took the $50, uh, 50 euros, and he won the race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <And> <laughs> So at the end, he signed me the the the, the driver signed me the the, the, the sketchbook. Um, so the, the, I also use this medium one. And um, and oh, this is my yellow Vespa. Uh, <laughs> just just to just to show it to João Catarino. <laughs> um, and I also draw in wall in the wall sometimes. I don't know if you tried with the, the Posca pens. Are really nice to to sketch on on the problem. Is, is when we are used to these little sketchbooks and when you go to the wall, it's so hard to get the, the proportions uh, when you draw on the wall. So now let's jump to Italy. I'll try to go fast. Uh, I did a, a four months trip in Italy. I was following uh, an architect and I was doing the same sketches he did 100, ago, 100 years ago. And I, I was in Ferrara in the festival I was in Pisa where I only had 15 minutes to sketch, so I used this uh, brush pen only to defining the, the buildings only with, with shadows. Um, Venice, sometimes I use also pencil and watercolor, so it's really nice uh, sometimes. Uh, and this is, this, these are the sketches the, the architect did and I, and I also did. The right, the right drawing, we, we can say it's my comfort area. If I, draw with a pen, I'm really fine with it. I, I, I don't suffer at all, I, I'm happy. And when I do this kind of stuff, it's, I, I, I must admit I suffer a lot. <laughs> and so this is Capri, and uh, these are fast sketches with, uh, with a pen, with uh, the pencil. I'm only showing this because I only to say that I really like to, to do a lot of, it's really good to do, to do always different kinds of sketches, otherwise otherwise your brain gets stuck, you know? Uh, the other day we're, we were sketching at the Robbie house, oh, with pencil, oh, I can't, I can't sketch with pencil. We were all stressed with the, with the pencil, no? Um, okay, this is at Rani, where, where I met another famous urban sketcher, it's not here. Um, really nice place, place to sketch. 
As As Asish, Asisi, uh, Florence, so I will go faster. Uh, I, I, I love to include people on my sketches, but not in a static way, because I don't see them in a static way. They are not like this, they are moving. So I try to to get them in, if I just get a head, I just, I just draw a head. Sometimes I draw the bottom part of one person and the upper part of another person, but they, they are really good to give, to give scale and that sense of um, Venice is not Venice without all the crowd that is going around the San Marcos Square. And then what I use a lot is the brush, the, the black brush pen to, to stress some dark areas. Uh, here is uh, when it's really, really warm, you know, and really the shadows are so intense. So I can do these kind of sketches that, that are really good to, to make your brain work. So don't do lines, just do the shadows, and the shadows would, would, uh, will transmit the forms. So it's total and another uh, way of sketching another so much different. I, I advise you to do it. So this is Amalfi. I was there, it's, it's nice being in Amalfi in July, August, uh, people say, oh, you're a lucky guy. Um, but mm, uh, I was drawing and I was sweating and I, I, all the people on the water, I was kind of suffering a little bit. And I, I swear I, I was sketching like 12 hours a day on this, on this trip in order to get my goals. Not every day, but sometimes. Because uh, this, this one, one sketch like this, that is 17 for 14 feet, uh, 17 for 14, that can take me two hours, two hours and a half. Okay. This is uh, the Amalfi Church. Uh, sometimes you get this sense of, you know, this sense of uh, um, uh, perspective that you want to transmit in your drawings. So uh, we use this uh, vanishing point to the, to the top of, of the drawing. And uh, these are all the sketches that um, the, this architect uh, did. This is uh, a little town in the Amalfi Coast. And um, uh, Atrani. Sometimes I do these really fast sketches with line and, and, uh, and, the, and the brush pen. And um, the beach, the beach where, where you, I really like to use the brush pen on these on this beaches, you know, because you, you get really well to see the shadows and the sense of shadows and it's so beautiful to to just uh, uh, draw the shadows and the, the the forms appear from the shadows but you have to re to be really concentrated to do this you know because if you just do it if you put it in the in a, the wrong position or in the wrong side usually it, it, it doesn't work uh, really well Pompeii Naples. Naples is the most amazing city to draw. I, I, I think you noticed that. I really like to draw all the details and shadows and uh, cables and signs. And that, that, is, that is the city. That is Naples. Uh, I was with a sketcher that, did, that was next to me. I found him there. And he did, like, it, he, he drew Naples with a uh, nice perspective, but without cables, without signs, without garbage bins, without people. Mm, it was a nice sketch, but it was not Naples. <laughs> Naples. And uh, another one from the Malfi Coast. This is on the bus. Believe me, don't don't use the bus in the Malfi Coast. It's really like that. I, I use the yellow because that was the feeling I had. I had like this yellow feeling. I don't know if you if you know what I, what I what I mean. Uh, Naples again. Uh, sometimes I just I just paint some parts of the of the drawing uh, that I like. And this is my, uh, where I live. This is Valencia. Uh, it's nice to sketch because you, you can sketch outside every, every month of the year, almost. It's a bit warm on, on, um, on, uh, on the summer uh, months. So, and this is my material uh, that I use, my gear. And uh, it's also a way of, of showing my, my uh, shoes collection. And uh, <laughs> mainly this one, because th this is the, the Michael Jordan number one that uh, he wore in Chicago when, when he, he won the ring in Chicago with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, this is um, 
a drawing in a, in a highway in Valencia, going going from Valencia to Porto, uh, where once more um, I avoid to use lines and try to define forms uh, with the with the brush pen and the and the, 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 the red the red ink. This is Valencia, where uh, here I wanted to stress this this big contrast now between a, a dark and uh, and shadow, and this is the the the, the, the poorest neighborhood in in Valencia, the Cabanal that I like a lot uh, to sketch. And the, the best thing in urban sketching is in interacting with people, okay? So Valencia, Valencia. Uh, I went to, to a, a Julian Opie exhibition before this sketch, so I just put it there. And um, I, I really like to use the black and, black and uh, red. You know, the Nazis and the Japanese were really bad, but they, they, they knew about design. And so they use the red and black, and it, it, it works really well. Um, so Valencia, Valencia, the Huerta in Valencia. I like this one. Uh, this one took me, this, one, this was the, lo the longest drawing I did. It took me five hours and a half, I think. Yeah, and I went, I, w I went there three times because the lights changed. So I had to, do, to go there uh, several times. This is the big party in Valencia, the Fallas. And, uh, now I'm trying also with uh, 800 and one, uh, three, one, 1,080 degrees or 360 degrees because I, I started realizing when, if you do like the architects that only see 30 degrees, you lose a lot of stuff. You know? So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to test another uh, different kinds and I'm really hooked on rooftop sketch. Uh, so I've been doing this a lot, rooftop sketch, rooftop sketch, rooftop sketch. This is all the, the I, I, did, I did this 360 degrees on a rooftop and here is the, you can see the scale of, of, the, of the sketches. Another roof, so rooftop sketch in, in Valencia, I fish rooftop sketch. And finally we arrived to the States, to New York City. This was the first drawing I did in Bushwick when I was living there. The Soho, this uh, was used on uh, Matitim Biagio for the, the poster two years ago. The manifesto, as they say. There are, there are a lot of funny stories about this, but I, I cannot tell them. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and this was in New York two years ago. Uh, I was unhappy with my sketches, back, and then I started realizing that uh, instinctively I put some people there. And I thought, that's it, New York without people is not the same. So I start putting people around. Uh, this is uh, from the Whitney, the, the new Whitney Museum, the view from the, the rooftop, Staten Island. This is uh, the building that all the architects love. And uh, people told me, oh, your drawings were really fresh. They are really fast. Of course, it was so cold, it was winter. I could not be more than one hour doing the sketch. So they, if you do the zoom to the drawings, you see the, these little these gestures, uh, the, the cars. Uh, this is um, Philadelphia, where Rocky Balboa, Rocky Balboa went to, to do his jogging. And this is Chinatown. Of course, Chinatown without the Chinese is not Chinatown. I, 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 I showed the drawing to a Chinese um, student, and she could, uh, uh, she could read the, the, the sketch, the Guggenheim the Parsons School. Uh, I, I did like 50 uh, jazz uh, sketches. I went to, I tried to go to a lot, to almost all the, the jazz uh, bars in New York. Uh, this guy was playing the battery. I was with watercolor and stuff. And this, the guy said, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, and, but it's really hard because I, I, I paint with, in these conditions, so with, with the candle lights. And sometimes I arrive home and I see, whoa, the colors are awful. Um, and uh, this is the little, little sketchbook where I told you we can put everything there, everything there. Oh, there, there is so na na so, such a nice story on this, but I cannot tell you. Um, the little sketchbook. Oh. Uh, this is a bar that I a really fancy cafe I used to go and uh, I was trying to check the the time the schedule of it then I found my sketch on their on their page you know without asking of course you know. <laughs> uh, I found also it on a Chinese website saying uh, um, 
screen savers for free, and all my drawings were there. Screen save. <laughs> uh, I, I left these at the Dunkin' Donuts. I never get, got it back. Um, and uh, I did it two years ago. And in Williamsburg, it's not like this anymore. There is a building now on the top of it. And I was in Utica working for a movie. These, uh, these were all the houses that we, we used in a movie. I did this in 2016, and I have a folder at my place that is called Unfinished Sketches. So when I go to a place again, I, I take this folder. So the next year I went there and I finished the sketch. So the, you can see how important shadows and colors are in, in a sketch. No, that's, that's where, and I think in Frank Shing, I love Frank Shing that says, no, the, the uh, color is only to take in sand to your eyes. The, 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 the soul of the drawing is online. I don't know. Um, okay, I go to, if you want some color in New York, just go to Red Hook. Uh, and this is uh, this month. When I was coming to the States, I had 1940 sketch. So I had to do six, 60 sketch in this month. So I was so stressed um, doing sketches, sketches, and sketches. And the problem is I used to do 10 minute sketches at the beginning, but now I do two hour sketches. You know, that is, that is the problem. So even though I always try to, to use uh, different kinds of paper, different kinds of materials. This was the fastest one I did, 20 minutes, and this is the one with more likes in Instagram. That is funny. And this is the rooftop sketches I'm, I'm telling you about, I'm hooked on. Um, and now I mix the rooftop and the eye fish, so you can see everything. Uh, Louis can work, so here I was working on shadows, another kind of drawing. And my neighborhood this is already in LA. I'm finishing. This, is, this was my sandwich at Bushwick while I was eating the sandwich. LA, the Craig Elwood building, the fantastic Schindler house. Uh, LA from the, you know, La La, La La Love You, the film. So they go to the, this observatory. So this is the view from the observatory. And of course, California. Uh, I would like to transmit the, this California mood. Okay, and the Louis Kahn, the most amazing building I ever seen. And here we are in Chicago. Uh, the hard, it's so hard to draw these towers. Um, the Chicago River. Uh, oh, and this is, I'm finishing. Uh, the outcomes of the blog. People ask me, what, what, why do you do it? Why? Why? Uh, so I was in Williamsburg, in the Orthodox neighborhood and there were the Orthodox Jewish, and I was surrounded by Orthodox kids, and there is the Orthodox old man that comes and asks me, why are, why are you doing this? Oh, no, I, uh, do you pay your room with this? How much do you pay for your room? Do you pay? No, I don't. So what are you doing? And then it, it's, uh, it's all the, the kids. It's just a punk. It's just an artist. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Uh, oh, and, uh, and we, saw, we, we can get some free dinners also. I was in the, this Italian and the owner was downstairs. So I just chose this spot because it was really nice. We could see all the restaurants and I ate, a, it's really cheap. I ate a piece and the wine, it was five euros or seven euros. And I, when I went downstairs, the guy said, Lasciame vedere che ha fatto. Ah, bello, bello, vai, vai, zero, zero, per te gratis. <laughs> Um, okay, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to do some exhibitions, some individual, and uh, I, do like, I do like five a year, I don't know, um, and, uh, and publications, and sometimes they pay you to publish your sketches, yes, yeah, sometimes. I had this fantastic mail from the Graffat magazine from London, they are really professional. So they wrote me, usually people write me, oh, I love your work, can you send me it for free? Basically is that, no? But they, they, they text me, uh, we will pay for it, so it's nice. Sometimes we get paid for, for uh, and it's so beautifully rendered. I'm so happy with this, with this work. And it's so nice, the atmosphere we work. Uh, this is my work, uh, this, I, 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 all the things I learned in urban sketching, I use it in my work as an architect. So instead of doing the renders, um, 
um, computer renders, I do this, this render, and I do this in the work now. I, and um, you don't know how the, the contractors and the workers respect you if you draw, you know? They really respect you, okay? And at least if there are no waves, you can draw in the beach without getting bored, okay? So I will finish with a, a really, 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 really fast video. Fast video I did in Chicago. So you can see my way of working. Of course, this is a time lapse, you know, but <laughs> I told you I was not fast. But this, you can see uh, my way of working. Okay, and uh, I don't know how I get that. Oh, and uh, I like to finish always, I always finish my presentations with Hopper that is much more better than me and please lo look at him and not, not at me. And uh, let's draw. <laughs> Thank you a lot.